हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज सॉल्यूशंस सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस एंड कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉल्यूशन लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज द पर्पस ऑफ रिपोर्ट फॉर एग्जांपल इन दिस लेक्चर फर्स्ट वी इंट्रोडक्शन द थ्योरी ऑफ सॉल्यूशन देन which factor depend on the solubility of gases and then uh, qualitative properties of solution first we discuss definition of solution contains homogeneous thermodynamically stable system with variable composition consisting of two or more components are called solution what is solution contains homogeneous thermodynamically st stable system with variable composition consisting of two or more components are called solution solutions are basically composed of solvents and solutes depending on the state of aggregation of solvents and solutes gases can be gaseous liquid and solid respiratory air consists of mixture of several gases substances for example o2 and 2 co2 and inert gases is a homogeneous system and can be incorporated into gaseous substance examples brass alloys are copper alloys zinc and various other alloys what is liquid solution liquid solutions are primarily aqueous solution which are common in nature and play an important role biological fluids plasma blood plasma lymph gastric juice urine saliva and the other biological fluids which fluids are present in our body blood plasma lymph gastric juice urine saliva basically these are main complex solution of protein lipids carbohydrates and salt is it clear definition of solution and then what is liquid solution next effect of pressure on solubility effect of pressure on solubility is firstly expressed by henry's law what is henry's law i will tell you in next slide the volume of solution formed by the melting of gases liquid or solid in solvents usually decreases sharply so the solubility of gases in liquids increases with increasing pressure the dependence of the solubility of gases on pressure is expressed by henry's law the mass of gas dissolved in a given volume of liquid at a constant temperature is proportional to its partial pressure now we discuss what is henry's law henry's law is equation a is equal to kp basically a is absorption coefficient and p is pressure of gas and k is constant depending on the nature of gas k is constant depending on the nature of gas p is pressure of gas and a is absorption coefficient and second law is henry's dalton's law henry's dalton's law ai is equal to ki into pi in this i indicates the partial pressure of the gas ai absorption coefficient pi is the partial pressure of the gas ki is the constant depending on the nature of the partial gas clear henry's law a is equal to k into p absorption coefficient is a symbol of a p is the pressure of gas and k is constant depending on the nature of gas second law henry's dalton's law a i is equal to k i dot p i this i indicates the partial pressure is it clear next solubility depend on the presence of solute third law which law shinov's law shinov's law the presence of solutes reduces the solubility of gases in water presence of solutes reduces the solubility of gases in water equation ig n by n not is equal to k into c ig n by n not is equal to k into c these are the equation of shinov's law ig 
integrity of gas and not solubility of gas in water and n is the solubility of gas in electrolyte solution C is electrolyte concentration and K is the function of nature of gas on the solute depending on the temperature. Is it clear? In this uh, slide, first we discuss what is solution, then solubility depending on the temperature. Three laws discuss Henry's law, Dalton's law, and Shinov's law. Now, next uh, topic is colligative properties of solution. We have six uh, colligative properties of solution. First one is diffusion phenomena of solution, the phenomena of osmosis of solution, osmotic pressure of solution, vapor pressure of solution, freezing temperature, and boiling point. Freezing temperature means decline and boiling point rise, as we know already. Now we discuss one by one these colligative properties. First one is diffusion. If there are two or more gas molecules in a container, they will mix to form a single mixture of the same composition is called diffusion. The phenomena, this phenomena is called diffusion. Diffusion is the transition of a molecule of a substance from a higher concentration to the lower concentration to form a mixture of the same concentration. This is called diffusion phenomena of solution. The phenomena of osmosis solution. Second one is osmosis solution. The process by which a solvent passes through a semiconducting membrane from a low concentration of solute to high concentration is called osmosis. Phenomena of osmosis solution as a semiconducting membrane is used, bladder, cellophane, performance, paper, colloidal membrane. In 1987, W. Pepper identified the following relationships between the osmotic pressure and the various factors. This is the scientist's name. Osmotic pressure. The pressure exerted by the solvent molecules on the walls of the vessel by diffusion is called the osmotic pressure. When hopeless, osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the concentration of the solute. When scoop, according to Van Scoop's law, uh, osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the concentration of the solute. Uh, this this indicates the or this symbol indicates the osmotic pressure crt i will tell you this uh, abbreviation but this equation is for non electrolyte solution and this equation is for electrolyte solution this symbol is the osmotic pressure and c is the solution concentration and r is the universal gas constant and t is the absolute temperature i is the isotonic coefficient i is the isotonic coefficient different osmotic pressure solutions solutions with equal osmotic pressures are called isotonic solution isotonic solution Solution with equal osmotic pressure is called isotonic solution. Isotonic solutions are widely used in medical and pharmaceutical practice. For example, the osmotic pressure of 0.86% of salt solution is equal to the osmotic pressure of blood plasma. In medical practice, this is called a saline solution. In addition, a 4.5 to 5% of solution of glucose is an isotonic solution relative to blood plasma. Oncotic pressure of blood serum. The osmotic pressure is maintained at 755 to 796 kPa. kPa is the unit of pressure at a body temperature of 370 Celsius. The pressure of osmotic pressure 
at such high values is due to the presence of various low molecular and high molecular ions in the blood. Much of the osmotic pressure in the blood depends on the presence of NaL, sodium chloride. On cortic pressure is 0.5% of osmotic pressure and its value is 29 to 3. To, uh, sorry, 2.9 to 3.9 kPa. kPa, I already tell you, is the unit of pressure. The low oncotic pressure is important because oncotic pressure plays a key role in the formation of interstitial fluid, primary urine, and other biological fluids. For example, when the digestive system is impaired due to decrease in the amount of protein in the blood as a result of protein loss in the urine, as a result of kidney disease, the osmotic pressure in the blood differs from the fluid in the tissues. As a result of this phenomena, water begins to accumulate in the substance tissue and this phenomena is called the oncotic edema or oncotic water accumulation. Water accumulation is, uh, we know, is called edema. As a result of this process, the patient's condition worsens. Therefore, it is recommended to take into account of osmo oncotic pressure in the treatment of such disease. Next, plasmolysis. If red blood cells are immersed in the solution with high hypertonic osmotic pressure, water will pass through the membrane into the cell shrinking and compressing. This process is called plasmolysis. The introduction of hypertonic solutions leads to compression of the cell, a process that is beneficial for swollen cells. Swollen cells means inflamed and increased humidity. Hemolysis. If the erythrocyte is lowered into a solution with low hypotonic osmotic pressure, water can enter the erythrocyte and cause the erythrocyte to swell and Rupture. This process is called hemolysis. Next, Raoult's law. In Raoult's law, P is equal to P indicates the solutes. P indicates the solutes. X is the mole fraction solvent, and P is the uh, solvent of vapor pressure. Uh, to understand Raoult's law, we must know what is vapor pressure. Okay. Where P is the saturated vapor pressure above the pure solvent, P is the vapor pressure on the solution, and N, solute and solvent substances among. The law of ebulloscopy. Law of ebulloscopy means it's telling about boiling point. The increase in the boiling point of the solution is directly proportional to the molar concentration of the solute. For example, boiling point. Uh, this indicates the boiling point is equal to E dot M. E is basically ebulloscopic constant and M is the molality of the solution concentration. Law of cryoscopy. Cryoscopic uh, indicates the freezing point. Cryoscopic means uh, we tell about uh, freezing point. For example, the decrease in the freezing point of the solution is directly proportional to the molar concentration of the solute. As we know, in boiling point, the temperature is increased and in the freezing point, the temperature is decreased. Freezing is equal to K. Freezing uh, decline means temperature is decreased. K indicates the cryoscopic constant and M is the molality of the solution of concentration. Okay, this is all about solution and uh, effect depending on the temperature of gas and colligative properties of solution. Hope you understand. Thank you.